Now, in a practical way, bring before your mind's eye a scene which would imply the fulfillment of your desire. Let it be perfectly still. You can freeze it, can't move unless you allow it to move. Tell it what it is supposed to hear. Tell it what it is supposed to do. It is supposed to hear that you are a new name, but you want it to hear. Bring anyone before your mind's eye. Bring any group before your mind's eye. See it clearly in your mind's eye. And then tell it the frozen statues before you. What it's going to hear about you. And then you tell it. I am, and you name it. I am successful. Or I am healthy. Or I am wealthy. Or I just name it. And then release it in you. And see the animated faces smiling. They have got to go forward and move things in your world to hear that concerning you. They've got to. Just try it. Bring them into your mind's eye. See them just as I would see you now. But let them be perfectly still. And then tell them what they're going to hear about you. And you name what they're going to hear. And then release them. You've changed all motivation concerning that state. They've got to hear what you say they will hear. Others say it's impossible, and you will say it is wonderful. And in a way that no one knows, they are working towards the fulfillment of it. For their attitude has changed toward you. And they will change by their thinking attitudes of others towards you. And eventually you will become the one that you assume that you are as you told them that you are. They're all frozen. All things are within you. All that you behold, though it appears without, it is within. In your own wonderful human imagination. Of which this world of mortality is but a shadow. So, you saw it. They're all within you. Where do you see them? In your imagination. But you saw them and you freeze them. And then you tell them what they're going to hear. And then you allow them to smile and empathize with you. Not sympathize, empathize with you. And then you drop it. Confident that they are now under your command. And they've got to go forward and fulfill what you have commanded them to do. That's the whole vast world in which we live. Those in great eternity who contemplate on death said thus, what seems to be is to those to whom it seems to be and is productive of the most dreadful consequences to those to whom it seems to be. Even of torments, despair, an eternal death. But divine mercy steps beyond and redeems man in the body of Jesus. So whatever seems to be is to those to whom it seems to be. So, you bring them into your mind's eye. You see them clearly in your mind's eye. And you tell them what you not want them to hear about you. You tell them, this is what you will hear about me in the immediate present and then release them they were frozen motivation changed and then they were released to fulfill your command 